This is the video for the pressure regulator installation option, which is appropriate for pressure situations of 4.5 to 75 PSI. To choose the correct installation kit, measure the water pressure in the sample line that will connect to the Y strainer assembly. Install the analyzer indoors in an environment with minimum vibration. Bright light interferes with color metric measurement and heat can cause reagents to degrade. Select a sampling point location in the process stream that will pull a good representative sample for the analyzer. The sample line and location is critical for accurate readings. Attach the analyzer to a wall using your preferred mounting method. Make sure that the analyzer is level. Attach the controller to a wall, panel, or pipe. Install the analyzer near an open drain, where the analyzer drain can be ratted with a continuous downward slope. Assemble the Y strainer before you begin installation at your location. When you install the Y strainer on the wall, make sure that the angled bypass port points down. Make sure that the flow arrow on the Y strainer points toward the analyzer. Make sure to install the external air brake, which decreases condensation and possible corrosion inside the analyzer. Assemble the pressure regulator before you begin installation at your location. Assemble the grab sample assembly. Attach a piece of black tubing from the Y strainer to the inlet port of the grab sample assembly. Next, attach black tubing from the right side of the grab sample assembly to the inlet port of the pressure regulator. Finally, Connect another piece of tubing from the output of the pressure regulator to the inlet port of the analyzer. Follow the steps in the user manual to mix the DPD and the indicator solution. Install the reagent bottles. Install the stir bar. Connect the analyzer to the controller. Connect the controller to power. Confirm you have the latest software for the controller and analyzer. Set up and prime the reagents. For best analyzer performance, the flow rate should be set between 120 milliliters to 200 milliliters per minute. Measure the flow at the drain 